it's yoga, but I've been teaching this yoga flow during this kind of crazy time. So we've got about 45 minutes and I'm just gonna have you start out this afternoon in child's pose. If for some reason you can't hear me or the connection's bad, let me know. Uh, just write it in the chat, okay? So we're gonna come in child's pose, bring your knees out nice and wide. Sink your hips down towards your heels, reaching the fingertips long towards the front of your mat. Just kind of relax into this pose. Maybe rock your forehead from side to side. Coming into that ujjayi breath right away. So you're breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Try to match your inhales with your exhales. Take an inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Feel that chest rise. Exhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Continuing to match the inhales with the exhales. This time, inhale, big breath in through the nose. Feel the chest rise, sipping in a little bit of air at the top. Exhale, sigh it out. Let's do that again. Inhale, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let something go, sigh it out. You wanna maintain this ujjayi breath throughout your practice. If you ever feel yourself starting to lose your breath, that's your cue to come into a resting pose. Maybe it's here in child's pose. This is just another variation of child's pose. Maybe it's in a downward facing dog or lying on your back. Listen to your breath, listen to your body. Let it be your guide. From here, I want you to start to activate this pose a little bit. So start reaching your fingertips so far forward towards the front of your mat that your elbows start to reach up off the mat. Kind of activating this child's pose. Take a breath in. On your exhale, go ahead and walk the fingertips over towards the left side of the mat, so much so that they start to come up off the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale back through center over towards the right side. Feeling the side body stretch through the left side body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Another inhale. Exhale, moving back through center. Giving those hips a little bit of relief. Eventually making your way to a tabletop position on your mat. Your hips are in line with knees. Your shoulders are stacked over your wrist. So go ahead and drop the chest, lift the head. Inhale for up dog. Or I'm sorry, this is not up dog. This is cow. Exhale, curl the spine, cat. Moving through your cow cat. Really over exaggerating these movements here. Maybe you add in movements to the hips, to your neck and your head. Listen to your breath, let it be your guide. Listen to your body so you know what feels good this afternoon. Maybe you open up those hips more. Maybe it's opening up the neck and the head. Warming up the spine. Moving through three more cycles of your cat-cow. And then we'll make our way back to that neutral spine, tabletop position. So from this neutral spine, what I want you to do is curl the toes, lift your knees about an inch above the mat. Turn that core on. So it's a little bit different variation of a plank pose. 
you're hugging everything into center line. Keep the gaze about an inch in front of your mat. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, straighten through the legs, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the knees back down an inch above the mat. Shoulders stack over wrist. So it's like you're coming into a plank, but my knees are bent, not lower down to the mat. If you need to modify, you may lower your knees down to the mat. Otherwise, keep everything hugged in. Just turn up the core. Shaking is good. Shaking makes you stronger. One more, inhale. Exhale, straighten through those legs. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. We've got one more, three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Lower those knees an inch above the mat. Stack the shoulders in line with the wrists. Two more breaths here. One more, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a second here to walk out your dog. Bending one knee, then the other. Shaking the head yes, shaking the head no, and yes again. Wrapping those shoulder blades in towards each other. Maintaining that ujjayi breath. Inhale, come all the way up to your tiptoes if you can. Exhale, sink your heels to the mat, lift the toes. Feel a stretch through the back of your calves. Inhale, up to tiptoes. Lifting the heels off the mat. Exhale, sink down to the heels. Lift your toes if you can. Feel that stretch through the back of your calves. One more, inhale up to tiptoes. This time walk the hands in between, or walk your feet in between your hands, sorry. Coming into a forward fold, Uttanasana. So your feet are about hip width distance. I can fit two fists in between my feet. Relaxing the neck and the head. Maybe you grab hold of opposite elbows, swaying from side to side. Bring a nice deep bend in the knees. Let go of any tension in that lower back. Again, maybe you shake the head yes, shaking the head no, and yes again. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Two more cycles of breath. One more, inhale, exhale, lower the hands down to the mat, heel toe your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back here. Reach the crown of the head long towards the front of the room, wherever you are. So if somebody were to put a glass on your back, it wouldn't spill from either side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time, inhale, reach up, rise up all the way. Ooh, my ceilings are a little low. Moving the hands to heart center. Take a cleansing breath in. Exhale, breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. So cross the right foot over the left. So those pinky toes meet, okay? Inhale, halfway lift here. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Exhale, fold forward. Feel the stretch through the left quad, left hamstring, calf muscle, walking the hands over to the right side. Feel an even deeper stretch here. Now keep the left hand glued down to the mat, right fingertips lift. Maybe you bring your gaze to your right thumb. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. Come back through center. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So this time the left foot reaches over the right. Again, pinky toes together. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk the hands over towards the left side of the mat. Find your balance. Ground down through the right hand. Left fingertips reach up high to the sky. Opening the heart here, maybe bring your gaze to that left big thumb. One more inhale, lengthen, open wide. Exhale, back through center. Go ahead and bring your feet back to center, toes touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the feet back. Let's come into a high plank. Okay, so we've been in this high plank variation before. Now we're in high plank. Pressing the heels long behind you, hugging that core in. Everything's hugged in through center line. On your next inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, maybe you lower the knees down to the mat. Come to a low plank, low push up. Inhale for up dog. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Lift the hips here. Gaze to the sky. Exhale. Curl the toes. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. So that's just one variation of a sun A flow. That last little bit's called chaturanga. Okay. So let's do that again. We're going to move one breath, one movement. Inhale. Look in between the hands. Exhale. Step or jump in between the hands. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up all the way. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. So high plank to low plank. Inhale for up dog. Maybe your knees come to the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times. Let's start to warm up here. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, step or jump in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Moving high to low plank. Keep those elbows hugged in when you go to the low plank. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm gonna walk you through this next one on your own. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, step or jump in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up all the way. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga. Moving high to low plank or skip the chaturanga and just meet us in that downward facing dog. All right, so we're all here in our downward facing dog. Hopefully you guys are feeling a bit warm. Take a look at our time here. All right. So take another big cleansing breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. This time, inhale, reach the right foot up high to the sky. So we're in a three-legged dog here, okay? Your hips stay square. Keep, keep your shoulder blades in line with one another, okay? On your next inhale, bring the right knee to your right elbow. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, curl the spine, step it through. You're in a low runner's lunge here. So my left heel is lifted, my chest is lifted. Maybe you come up to the fingertips. Gaze forward, keep that right knee bent, on your inhale, you're gonna come all the way up to high crescent, high crescent lunge. 
So your right knee is stacked over right ankle. Maybe you need to shimmy that right heel back a little bit. Press your right hip for back, your left hip forward, squaring your hips, lengthening through the fingertips here. Breathing in, breathing out. Wrap the shoulder blades in, breath in, breath out. Lower the left hand down to the mat, right fingertips lift, you're in an easy twist here. You're gonna ground down through the left hand, big transition, bring the right foot all the way back to meet the left, side plank. So your hips are lifted, your feet are stacked on top of each other. Maybe you lift that right foot up. Yogi's choice. Lift the hips another inch on the inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. High plank to low plank. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Breath out. You always have the option to skip the downward facing dog. Remember that. Inhale, left foot lifts high to the sky. Bring your left knee to your left elbow on the inhale. Exhale, back to three legged. Left knee to right elbow. Breathe in. Exhale, back to three legged. Left knee to nose, curl the spine. Make a connection, step it through. Low runner's lunge here. Again, your right heel is lifted. You're powering through that right leg, okay? Keeping the nice, or the left knee nice and bent. All the way up to your fingertips, gaze forward. Chest lifts all the way up to crescent lunge. Using our core to bring us up. Find your alignment right away. Press the right hip forward, left hip back. Wrap the shoulder blades in. Pinky fingers reach towards the back of the room. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale. Lower the right hand down to the mat. Left fingertips lift. Easy twist here. Okay, so that left knee is still bent. We're gonna ground down into our right hand. Your left foot's gonna come all the way back to meet the right. Big transition, side plank. To modify, you can always kind of pivot the feet so they're not stacked. You can bring the left a little bit in front of the right. Lift the hips, gaze to the sky, inhale, Exhale, chaturanga, or again, meet in downward facing dog. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Let's add on just a little bit here. Again, let me check my time. Okay. So inhale, right foot lifts high to the sky. Right knee to right elbow. Exhale, back to three-legged. Right knee to left elbow. This time, step the left foot through. So it comes under the left hand. Left fingertips lift. Fall in triangle, or I call this wild thing pose. Keep the hips lifted. Gaze to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, stepping it through, low runner's lunge, okay? On your inhale, lift it up, high crescent. Sink low for a breath, breathe in, breathe out. On your next inhale, Clasp the hands behind your back. Puff up the chest. Exhale, 
Forward fold, humble warrior. So your hands are clasped. You're reaching the arms away from your body here. Nice deep shoulder stretch. Breathe into it. Relax the neck and the head. See if you can reach those arms a little bit further away from you. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down to the mat. Right fingertips lift. Side plank. You always have the option to lower that left knee. Maybe you lift the left foot. Modified side plank. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Or maybe just meet in that downward facing dog. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Inhale, left foot lifts high to the sky. Left knee to left elbow. Exhale, back to three-legged. Left knee to right elbow, just like we did on the other side. Step it through if you'd like. Wild thing or fallen triangle. Open wide, lift the hips, breath in. Exhale, back to three-legged. <sighs> Left knee to nose, step it through. Runner's lunge. Find your alignment, lift the chest, lift the heart, come all the way up to standing. High crescent. Sink low through the left knee. Right heel is lifted. Breathe it in, breathe it out. On your next breath, clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Humble warrior. Again, reaching the arms away from your body. Relax the neck and the head. Maybe you shake it yes, shake it no. Keep a nice deep bend through that left knee. One more, inhale, exhale, easy twist. Right hand comes down, left fingertips lift up high. Breath in, breath out. On your next inhale, maybe you come to that side plank or modified side plank. Any variation will do. Take one more inhale, lift the hips another inch. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower the knees down to the mat. Bring the knees out nice and wide. Let the hips sink down towards your heels. Try to keep this in active child's pose. So you're reaching the fingertips long towards the front of the room. Come back to that ujjayi breath if you've lost it. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. One more round of breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Slowly start to walk the hands in. So we're kind of here in a kneeling pose. I'll come to the middle of my mat so you can see me a little bit better. So my knees are hip width distance, okay? So you're standing on your knees here. Knees are hip width distance. You can keep your toes flat down to the mat or maybe you curl the toes. If you curl the toes, it's gonna bring the heels a little bit closer to your hands. It makes this next pose a little bit easier, okay? So the key here is to press your hips forward. We're gonna come into camel pose, and we're gonna flow through our camel pose, okay? So you can bring your hands to the small of your lower back, gaze behind you, 
I'm not gonna be able to talk as well when I'm coming into this. So gaze behind you, pressing the hips forward, relax the neck and the head. If you feel like you can come deeper, go ahead and lower the hands down to your heels. Press the hips forward. Breathing in, breathing out. When you come out of this camel pose, you want to do so slowly. And then you make your way back to that child's pose. Let the blood rush back to your head. Okay, so if you want to watch me here, I'm going to show you how we're going to flow through our camel pose. Really opening the back here. This will help if you've been sitting at a desk, sitting at a chair a lot, working from home or maybe even taking classes from home, whatever works. All right, so we're gonna just do one hand at a time. So let's bring right hand down, left, left fingertips reach long behind me, and then I'm gonna switch. Press the hips forward, breathe in, move on your own breath. Feel the stretch through your lower back, all the way up to your shoulders, the neck and the head. Go ahead and switch with your own breath here. Maybe you bring the heels out a little bit wider. Makes it a, a tiny bit easier if the legs are more wide, okay? One more round and then meet back in center, camel pose for three breaths if you can. Walking your way out, child's pose. Three breaths here, three cleansing breaths. eventually making your way back to that tabletop position. When we started off our class, we started off here in tabletop, okay? So from here, I want you to reach your right fingertips long towards the front of the room, left toes long behind you. Try to keep everything in line so you're automatically gonna wanna lift that left hip, keep it in line with your right. On your inhale, bring your elbow into your knee, curl the spine, Exhale, reach long. Inhale, elbow to knee, come in for that crunch. Exhale, reach long. Elbow to knee for five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, hold, hold, hold. Bend the left knee, right hand comes to the outside of the left foot. So you're kicking the left foot into the right hand. Feel a nice deep stretch here. Find the bind, gaze behind you. Lift the left knee another inch. Exhale, slowly lower and release, okay? Opposite side. So this time, left fingertips long in front of you, right toes long behind you. Find your alignment here. So maybe you bring that right hip down, ooh, about an inch. Knee to elbow, curl the spine. Feel the stretch, hug the core in. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Reach long, bend the right knee. Grab hold of the right foot with your left hand. So you're kicking the right foot into your left hand. Maybe bring the gaze behind you, lift the right knee another inch. Breath in, exhale, release. Hand and knee down to the mat, 
Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Take a second here to walk it out. Take a big breath in, exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, look in between the hands, exhale, step or jump in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up all the way, hands through heart center. Toes together, I'll do this a little bit in the middle here. Toes together, slight gap in between the heels here, okay? So what you're gonna do is sink the hips down low, coming into that chair pose. So my weight is shifted in my heels, I'm reaching my arms up overhead. If you can bring the arms to the outside of your ears, great. When you look down, you wanna be able to see those big toes. Bring your right arm under your left, your right leg over your left. Sink low. Maybe you find the whole bind here. Maybe you just kickstand that right toe. Try to keep your elbows in line with shoulder blades. Eagle pose. Hug everything into center line, nice and tight. Sink a little bit lower, will help with the balance. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale, release. Reach the arms up overhead. Hands back through heart center. Breathe in, breathe out. Sink the booty down low, chair pose. Come into it again. You've got this, gaze forward, left arm under, left leg over, eagle pose. Elbows in line with shoulder blades. Sink the weight back into the heels. So it's like you're stacked up against a wall behind you. Sink a little bit lower, hug it in, nice and tight. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Cleansing breath in, exhale. Sigh it out. All right, we're gonna add on here some balance poses today. So again, toes together, slight gap in between the heels. Sink that booty down low, chair pose right away. Left or right arm under, I'm sorry, right leg over. Eagle pose, hold here, stay strong, come right into it. We've been here before. Now, keep the arms right where they are. Start to hug the right knee into your chest. Reaching that right foot long behind you. Eagle arms, warrior three. Shifting the weight forward. Pressing that right foot behind you. Keeping the heart lifted. Breath in. Exhale, release the arms out to the side. Airplane pose. It's like you're pressing into two barrels on each side of you, keeping a nice up dog chest here. Breath in, breath out. Lowering the right hand down to the mat, maybe it comes to a block. I'm sorry, left hand down to the mat or a block. Right fingertips lift, half moon. Stack those hips on top of each other as much as you can here. Open the heart, gaze to the right thumb. Lift the right heel another inch, breath in. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the mat. Right foot comes down to meet the left. Forward fold. Heel toe your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. Sorry, I gotta fix my mat. A little bit wider than hip width distance. Using your peace sign fingers, grab hold of your big toes here. Reach your elbows to opposite directions of the room. Yogi toe lock. Relax the neck and the head. You can shake it yes, shake it no. Come back to that ujjayi breath if you've lost it. Bring a nice deep bend in the knees or maybe you straighten through the legs. Wherever you need that stretch this afternoon, 
It's fine with me. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Two more cleansing breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, release the grip. Heel toe the feet back together. We got one more side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up all the way. Moving hands through heart center. Sink those hips down low, chair pose. Coming right into it. Left arm under, left leg over, eagle pose. Stay low, find your alignment. Keep those elbows lifted, arms are binded. Slowly start to reach that left knee into your chest, eventually pressing the left foot long behind you, warrior three with eagle arms. One inhale, one exhale. Release the arms out to the side. Airplane pose. Trying to square my hips here. It's easier said than done when I'm talking. Keep the chest lifted. Making your way to half moon. Right hand comes down to the mat. Left fingertips lift. Stack the hips on top of each other. Open wide, lift the left foot up another inch. If you can, stay for the inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Any variation of forward fold, yogi's choice. Three breaths here. Rocking from side to side. Not used to doing yoga on carpet. Struggling with my mat a little bit, sorry. Release the grip wherever you are. Heel toe the feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Move through chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let me see how we're doing on time. Now we're gonna start to slow things down a little bit. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, jump the feet in between your hands, land on your butt. Coming to a seated position, reaching those legs long in front of you. Let go of any flesh from underneath you. Keep the feet nice and flexed, stand up tall or sit up tall. Crown of the head reaches high to the sky. Inhale, lengthen the fingertips. Exhale, fold forward. So maybe your hands just make it to your shins, that's totally fine. If you want a deeper stretch, maybe you bring a block or a pillow behind the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, tuck the chin, round the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale, release. Come all the way back up. We're gonna bring that right foot over the left leg. So you're bending the right knee over the left leg. Inhale, lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, twist, gaze behind the right shoulder. So you can kind of wrap the elbow around if you want a deeper stretch here. Try to keep that um, right arm nice and straight. Lifting up on the inhale, exhale, twisting. Gaze to the back of the room. One more inhale, exhale, back through center. Let's go ahead and switch sides, bringing the left foot to the outside of the right leg, lengthening through the fingertips, 
Exhale, find the twist. Keeping the right foot flexed, gaze behind the left shoulder. Twisting, rinsing, releasing it all out here. Again, this pose probably feels nice if you've been sitting a lot lately in front of that computer screen. One more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back through center. Go ahead and straighten through both legs. However you need to get there, just lie down on your back. Let's do a full body stretch. Inhale, lengthen through the fingertips. Point the toes long in front of you. Full body stretch like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Exhale, sigh it all out. You guys can see me. Go ahead and hug that right knee in. Bringing the right knee over the left leg, another supine twist here, different variation of the spinal twist. Shoulder blades come down to the mat, so they're grounded to the mat. Gaze over that right shoulder. So you can bring your arms to a T, maybe bring your left hand to the outside of the right thigh, right knee, for a little bit deeper stretch. One more inhale here. Exhale, hug the right knee in through center. Give it one more little squeeze, lowering the right leg long in front of you. Left knee hugs in, finding the stretch in the opposite direction here. Left knee comes over that right leg. Shoulder blades are glued to the mat. Gentle supine twist here. Breathing into this twist, kind of letting it all go. Inhale, back through center. Give that left knee a little hug in. And lower the left leg to the left edge of your mat. Right foot comes to the right edge of your mat. Arms open wide. Take up space here. You don't need to worry about anyone else. Palms opening wide and receiving. Take one last big, huge breath in. Feel the chest rise. Exhale, release. Final resting pose. Shavasana. Stay here. Eyes closed. Coming to that natural breath. You are welcome to tune me out for the remainder of the practice, or we can all meet back together. In just a few moments. Right now, focus on you finding that relaxation. If any thought wanders into your mind, let it pass with your next breath.
Yeah, and you're welcome to stay here in Shavasana. If you'd like to finish your practice with the class, slowly start to make small movements to your wrists, your ankles. Feel a little snap, crackle, pop. Hugging your knees into your chest, rolling over to your favorite side, coming into the fetal position. Maybe you let your um, head rest on your forearm. Taking a moment here to find a sense of gratitude. Thanking yourself for spending these last 45 minutes working on you. Being thankful for that space that you've created in your own home to find a stronger, healthier version of yourself. 